Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on, you know, where you are in the world. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. Today we will be in the book of Proverbs in the Old Testament, in the King James Version of the Holy Bible. And this is again Solomon um, sharing his bits of wisdom. So each verse sometimes two verses together, but each is an individual thought or morsel of wisdom. Chapter 17. Better is a dry morsel and quietness therewith than a house full of sacrifices with strife or sacrificial meals or feasting. Verse 2. A wise servant shall have rule over a son that causeth shame, and shall have no part of the inheritance among the brethren. Verse 3. The fining pot, or the refining pot, is for silver, and the furnace for gold, but the Lord trieth the hearts. Verse 4. A wicked doer giveth heed to false lips, and a liar giveth ear to a naughty tongue, or a destructive tongue. Verse 5. Whoso mocketh the poor reproacheth his maker, and he that is glad at calamities shall not be unpunished. Verse 6. Children's children are the crown of old men, and the glory of children are their fathers. Verse 7. Excellent speech becometh not a fool, much less do lying lips a prince. Verse 8. A gift is as a precious stone in the eyes of him that hath it. Whithersoever it turneth, and let's see, but it turneth, or he turneth, it or he prospereth. Verse 9. He that covereth a transgression seeketh love, but he that repeateth a matter separately, separateth very friend. Okay, let's see. Is the best friend. He that covereth a transgression seeketh love, but he that repeateth a matter separateth the best of friends. Verse 10. A reproof entereth more into a wise man than a hundred stripes into a fool. Or it's more effective. An evil man seeketh only rebellion. Therefore a cruel messenger shall be sent against him. Verse 12. Let a bare robber of her whelps meet a man. Or let a man meet a bear robbed of her cubs rather than a fool in his folly. Whoso rewardeth evil for good, evil shall not depart from his house. Verse 14. The beginning of strife is as when one letteth out water, or like releasing water. Therefore, leave off contention or stop contention before a quarrel, before it be meddled with. So, the beginning of strife is as one letteth out water, or like releasing water. Therefore, leave off contention before it be meddled with, or stop contention before a quarrel starts. Remember, Jesus said, um, you know, agree with your uh, adversary quickly, lest he haul you before the judge and you'll be thrown in jail until the other most farling be paid. 
keep peace. Verse 16. Wherefore is there a price in the hand of a fool to get wisdom, seeing he hath no heart to it or for it? Verse 17. A friend loveth at all times, and a brother is born for adversity. Verse 18. A man void or devoid of understanding or heart striketh hands or shakes hands in pledge and becometh surety, a guarantee for his friend in the presence of his friend. Verse 19, he loveth transgression that loveth strife, and he that exalted his gate seeketh destruction. Verse 20, he that hath a forward heart, or a deceitful or crooked heart, findeth no good, and he that hath a perverse tongue falleth into mischief or evil. Verse 21, he that begetteth a fool or scoffer, doeth it to his own sorrow, and the father of a fool hath no joy. 22. A merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit drieth the bones. 23. A wicked man taketh a gift out of the bosom to pervert the ways of judgment. And he, in other words, he takes a bribe. Verse 24. Wisdom is before him that hath understanding, but the eyes of a fool are the ends of the earth. 25. A foolish son is a grief to his father and bitterness to him to, or to her that bear him. So a foolish son is a grief to his father and bitterness to her that bear him. 26. Also to punish the just is not good, nor to strike princes for equity. And that means um, righteousness for their righteousness. Okay. Also to punish the judge, just or the righteous is not good nor to strike princes for iniquity or for their uprightness. 27. He that hath knowledge spareth his words, and a man of understanding is of an excellent spirit or calm spirit. 28. And final verse. Even a fool, when he holdeth his peace or keeps silence, is considered wise and is counted wise and he that shutteth his lips is esteemed a man of understanding and as always i love you